Hey guys, what's up? So I remember super clearly being in high school and really wanting to solo so badly and not understanding what to do or actually what to practice even. So eventually, you know, I took some lessons, I asked some friends and it seems that playing scales is a big deal when working on guitar. But then again, I didn't really know how to go about it. So just kind of playing the scales and I didn't feel like I'm really doing it right, you know. So today what I'm going to explain is six points of how to transfer your playing from just practicing the scale into real music. And I know it sounds a little bit weird sometimes. You're like, well, I'm playing scales. It should be all good. But there are a few points that if you practice daily, you will make it happen. Check it out. There's also a PDF with a subdivision for C major scale on my Patreon. If this is helpful, check it out. Thank you. One, be creative. Now, although it sounds funny, you know, you're saying, well, I don't really know the scale or I know one position. So I want to say, be creative from the get go. It's very, very important to take the information that we're learning in the lab, right? We're working on this scale, this arpeggio, whatever it is. Now we're talking about C major scale, but we're working on something in the lab with full power, fluorescent light. And then we have to take it outside and create with it. Cause you want to solo, you want to write a song. You do not want to be a master of first position C major scale. Of course we need to master it, but you want to express with it. Because if you think about it, music is all about creating and expressing with that framework. So what you need to do is know little things like C major scale, one position, and start creating now. So what I suggest doing is loop two chords, even one chord, and start finding and discovering the music with that scale. Two, composing. When we write music, we are making conscious choices and listening very carefully to the sounds. And that's super important in order to progress. So even if we just know C major scale or G major scale, whatever it is that you know, or A pentatonic, you can take that center, for example, C, and start messing around and writing a melody. Maybe I don't like it, so let me change the end. Each one of us will have different melodies and preferences when we hear the chord C major or C major seven. Now, what I'm suggesting is basically composing lines and being very clear about it. And the idea is not really just like being able to solo on the spot, but really crafting it. So understanding. Or. So the idea with this is really composing and making conscious choices using the framework of C major scale in this case and writing a line that you can really know by heart and be able to play it at will. Three, tag the information. Music is a big game of tagging. So the same way that we look at something and say like, well, this guitar is red, this is, I guess, kind of fluffy white thing. So we need to understand what we're listening to. In that sense, when we're working on C major scale, I want to know the name of the notes. This is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, you can say, well, yeah, I know it, it's fine, but not just knowing it, but really hearing it and understanding when you're practicing the scale and we're practicing the position, exactly what note you're playing at all times. How does that note relate to the center? No. And knowing each one of the notes, exactly how it sounds like and what it is representing. So again, this is C, this is the one, this is B, this is a seven degree in relationship to C. So again, tagging the information. Four listen very deeply. Music is the art of listening. Now, if we want to internalize information, we need to take our time and let our system learn the information. Again, slow it down and really absorb the information. Don't just try to run up and down. Again, 
I've done the same thing when I was in high school or middle school. I'm just playing scales up and down and trying to play it as fast as I can, which is, you know, it has its upsides, I guess. But in reality, I wasted a lot of time. And I want to save you this time because if you hear it, you can play it. And if you want to play fast, that's also great. It's not a problem. But in order to play fast, you actually need to play slow. So what I'm suggesting here is listening deeply and using your CPU power to really hear and feel the tension with each note that you're playing. Now when you're playing fast, it's harder because it's just faster. So take your time and check it out. No, and I'm feeling that tension against that C and tagging, telling myself, oh this is D, this is how it feels. that third, that beautiful sound. Mi, do, do, re, mi, fa. Feel that tension. Fa, mi, once resolved. Re, do, so, fa, mi, re, do. Right, a little more stable, part of the triad. So, G, E, C, La, A. How it wants to go up. La, T, and T. Be natural, how it's so intense against the center. But again, beautiful. No. And then when I'm practicing a scale, playing it in time, I would make sure I'm really conscious of it at all times. And this is really the way to learn the scale. Five, know the framework. So again, we're talking about listening deeply, connecting emotionally, understanding and feeling the tension. But of course, we also need to know the framework. In that sense, knowing the five position very, very clearly. Of course, there are different options and different fingerings, three notes per string, two notes per string, whatever. But let's start with five position. If you know those five positions very well, you can really do a lot of damage using that scale. So here are the positions. All right, so C major scale, five position. This is position number one. Starting from C. Now there are many different options to finger this, but this is not a bad one that I like. So this is two octaves of C major. Starting from this C, ending on this C. Second position, I'm going to start from the sixth string with this C using the fourth finger. And really telling myself at all times the notes F, G, A, B, C. Oftentimes I'll sing it later with the guitar or sing the center and listen to the notes like we did before. Next position is here, still using the C, but this area of the neck, C, D, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Then the next position, the fourth position, I'll start from here. You can slide this if you'd like, but basically it's kind of starting here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And I'm gonna stop at this F and go back. T sound like this. Now different options, I use the fourth thing right now. So you can slide it or really start from D, but still listening to it and hearing it in relationship to C. Then the fifth position is here. G, F, E, D, C, B. Listening to it. practice these scales and position in time and in clear subdivision. So what I would do, I would play quarter notes, eight notes, triplets, and 16 in each position. So taking 
position number one. I'll put 60 BPM. Here we go. Three, four. Just covering the metronome. I would spend some time playing that, like a couple minutes. 60 BPM. Trying to feel that groove as much as possible. And then eight notes. So taking a click and dividing it into two. One and two and three and four and And again I would hang in one position for quite a bit till I feel comfortable. Really comfortable. Then triplets. One, two, three, four. same thing, just staying, and a couple of minutes, four, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, sixty notes, just staying there, breathing in, breathing out, and then back to triplets, If this is hard for you, you can also take one note in the beginning, just a note C and subdivide it. So basically playing chord notes for a little bit, then eight notes, triplets, and 16. If 60 feels a little fast, you can go down to 40 or 50. This has its own problems because the chord notes is gonna be harder, but it's also a great exercise to do. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was interesting and exciting. I really feel very strongly about these exercises and I know that some of them are a little vague at times. You're like listening, feeling, tagging, what is he talking about? But believe me, this is really the path to internalizing it and therefore being able to solo and create better music. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.